Welcome back to our episode, Ryan here with Chaos MMA. And today we have on Sam Patterson, who fights on Dana White's Contender Series next week. Sam, man, how you doing? I'm very well, very well. Um, being out here in Vegas is amazing and um, just ready to go in there. Can't wait. Yeah, and how are you uh, dealing with the time change? Everything good with that now? Because I know you got there early, if I'm correct, right? Yeah, I got here um, Tuesday, so it took a couple of days to go over the jet lag, but yeah. Honestly, I just sleep when you can and get you'll get around it. Um, I think every day I gain an hour and I feel a lot better. Um, I'm fresh now. Like um, as long as I'm on for that 15 minutes, yeah. it doesn't matter, and I will be on. Yeah, it seems like you're ready. And I wanted to ask before we end the fight. First off, when did you hear? Like when did you get the call about being on Dana White's Contender Series? Like was there? Like do you remember the specific date? I don't know the exact date. Um, I had like a six. I had about ten weeks. I would say about ten weeks, but I was um, I was actually scheduled for the thirteenth of September. Yeah, and then um, as it come closer, I actually got changed to the twenty seventh. So it was a bit of a like waiting around for the actual contract to be secured and the opponent and stuff like that. But yeah, I've had enough time. I've had more than enough time to prepare and uh, get ready for the fight. Yeah, and you get the call. Like, what, what's your reaction? Because I'm sure this is something you worked towards your whole life, and it's, like, finally here. So what was your reaction when you got the call to, that you were offered to be on the Contender Series? Um, to be honest, I was actually um, – I wasn't that shocked because I was exp- – after the Felipe fight, a few fights ago, I was offered the Contender Series. Yeah. And the only reason I didn't get it was because uh, it was contracts uh, issues. So I'm not – I wasn't shocked. I knew that it was, um, like, on the horizon. And I'm glad that it got delayed after the Felipe fight because I was able to get a few more fights under my belt, um, a bit more experience. And now I am ready. I am ready for the UFC now. So, yeah, it was perfect timing. Yeah. And here you are, though. In in a couple of days, you'll be making the walk to the octagon. Like, what do you think that moment's going to be like? Are you even going to be thinking during that moment? Like, what is that moment going to be like for you when you're making that walk to the octagon? Um, it's hard to think before because I'm so focused on the 15 minutes. Yeah. The walk before is hard to, f- it'll be amazing, but I'll be so focused that I'll have to watch it back and try to remember what I felt in that moment. If you ask me this question after the fight, I'll probably have a better answer for you. But uh, before I'm focused on getting in that cage and uh, performing for 15 minutes. So yeah, nothing has tunnel vision all the way. What workout music are you going to go with for this fight? I, as far as I know, you don't get walkout music. Oh, for um, the, okay, okay, yeah. I think it's like a eerie. You just walk out, like oh, no music. Yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure, but it's uh, yeah, gutted because I do like my walkout tunes. I do yeah. get some bangers out, but uh, that's fine. I've done this before. Um, not a massive crowd, and yeah, walkout music or not, the show will go on. Yeah, you're going in there get the get the dub no matter what. And what are your thoughts on uh, Vincius as an opponent, like? What do you feel like his best style is for you? Like, what do you, what are your thoughts on him and everything else? Um, I don't, to be honest, there's not much to go on. Um, yeah. I'm, he had a fight like a while back. Um, for going off his topology and his record, he wins a lot in the, he's won all his fights in the first round. So I assume he's aggressive. But if he hasn't fought in nearly a year, if he's made the improvements I've made in a year, he's going to be a brand new fighter. So that's yeah. what I'm prepared for. So in camp, I focus 95% on my game. I'm all-rounded, so I focus on my game mainly and um, mainly like 5%, 10% on my opponents and not having much to go on for this guy. I'm just going to go in there and do me and adapt accordingly. Yeah, and I love when people bring this up when I have them on. Like, he hasn't fought in a while. So is that something you believe in, like ring rust? Like, he will, he won't be like the best, but I know you're expecting the best version, but is that something you believe in the ring rust and everything else? That's something he has to deal with. Not me. Yeah. Um, whether he's got ring rust or not is on him. I prepare for like, I always look at it as if they've improved as much as I have since my last fight, I'm in for a total different fire. If you look at my last fight and you look at this performance I'm about to put on, you'll think it's two different fires. I'm never the same each fight I improve. And I always go in with the mindset that my po- my opponents are doing the same. If they're not, great. But if they are, then I'm not I'm not shocked when I'm in there. I'm prepared. And it doesn't matter what what level shows up. Um, 
ring rust, whatever he's dealing with on his side, that's a him problem. I'm I'm in there to perform and I'm focused on me. Yeah, I mean, it seems like we're going to see a whole different version of yourself in this Octagon on Tuesday. Can't wait. And I always ask this when people come on. Sam Patterson will win by blank on Tuesday. How do you see yourself getting this win? I believe I find the finish. Um, I've got 15 minutes. The way I look at it, I've got 15 minutes to fi- um, find the finish, and I normally do. I don't hunt for it. I just normally break people down and find the hole that I need to find that finish, and this fight will be no different. And do you think this finish could be coming in like the first round? Like, Do you think this has something you can get in the first round? I never, because I see, like, when you see other fighters, oh, yeah, I see a second round finish, first round. Yeah. I just see it within the 15 minutes. It could be 14 minutes, 59 seconds. I, I will find the finish. And whether that's the first round, second round, third round, does not matter to me. Yeah. Um, I'm looking for the finish. It all, sometimes it depends on how much punishment my opponent can take. Um, I land a lot of shots. I put on a serious pace. And it depends on how much they're willing um, to take. And this will be no different. I believe on the show, the show that we're fighting for and what we're fighting for, he will come with that little bit more. He will come with that more hunger. But again, we're in four ounce gloves. It don't take a lot, whether that's a submission, a uh, knockout. If I um, catch him correctly, then he has no choice about toughing out the shots. Yeah. And you win this fight. Dana White has all the winners sitting together. He comes to your paper and says, Sam Patterson, talks about your performance and says you has earned the contract. What is that going to mean to you to earn the UFC contract? It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Amazing and life-changing. Yeah. Just in the fact that I achieved my dream. I achieved my goal that I set myself many years ago. Um, I finally achieved it. And that moment, it'll be interesting to see what Dana says about my uh, performance. Um and what he thought of the performance. So that would be quite cool. But I have visualized this moment. I have visualized him reading my name and giving me the contract and me becoming a UFC fighter and fighting in the UFC where I belong. Yeah, and I'm curious, how how long have you like been like working towards the stream of yours for like a UFC fighter? Like how long has it been for yourself? Um, I started competing when I was 16, so this is okay. 10 years now. Yeah. Um, I started competing amateur at 16 and yeah, I said it back then. I said I would get to the UFC, and I'm I'm 15 minutes away from it. So, yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, it's almost here. I'm sure you're excited. It's going to be a great moment for yourself. And last two things here, man, thanks again for your time. You get the win. I know you don't want to look too far ahead, but, like, when would you want to get back in there? I know Dana White loves going to the UK. So, like, would you potentially be interested to say they go back to the UK? I know they're going for Leon's next fight probably in March or April. Is that a card you would want to be on, like, a card like that what? in the UK? 100%. I I would personally, I would like to get one more in before the it, it all, like It's hard to say yeah. um, because going off, like, going off my last fight, I barely got touched and I broke my foot. So, you can never plan. I've learned that you can never plan these things. But if I come out injury-free, I would like to get out before the end of the year. Um, they have that last card of the year back at the apex, the December 17th or 19th. Yeah. I would like to be on that card. I'd like to stay active. Um, if if I have to wait and then I'll be on the UK card in March, April, I will wait. But if I could squeeze one in before, I like to stay active. I, um, I don't like sitting around. I get bored. So if I can get one more in before the end of the year uh, for the UFC, that'd be amazing. If... I uh, have to wait it out till March, April. I definitely want to fight on the UK card. Like it's been about five years since I fought in the UK, but all this counts on me going out there and performing on um, Tuesday. So yeah. I'm not looking past uh, my opponent. I'm not focused on anything past the 27th of September. Those 15 minutes is all that I have going through my mind, and I am fully focused on performing. Yeah, I mean, I'm sh- I'm sure that would be an amazing moment for you walking out to the UK fans and the UFC and everything else. It seems like you're ready. Can't wait for this guy- fight. Tune in Tuesday, guys. Going to be a great fight. And last thing here, man, at the end of the at the end of the interview, I always do a little segment for the viewers to get to know you better. I just ask you a question, and you whatever comes to your mind, you say right away. It takes like a minute or two. You ready? 
Feel free. Let's see what comes out. It's probably cake and food, regardless of what you say, just because that's all I'm thinking about right now. But go, go. We'll, well go. Well, that's my first question. Favorite food? White chocolate. White chocolate. Okay. Favorite movie? Uh, probably a Kevin Hart movie. Yeah. Oh, you can't go wrong with those. Favorite hobby? MMA. MMA. Favorite candy? White chocolate. Oh. I'm not a sweet person. Chocolate, anything white chocolate or cake. cake. I'm not really, a, I, like, I'm not a sweet person. I just yeah. prefer the chocolate, like, I like sweet stuff, but not sweets, you know, like the Harry yeah. Bows and stuff. I'm not, a, I can leave that. But yeah. white chocolate, anything cake, cheesecake, I like thinking about it now. Mm. Is that something you'll be grubbing on after this fight? 100%. That is the only thing I thought about. I said I haven't thought about anything after the 27th, that's a lie. I thought about cake, victory I, cake, and uh, that's it. Yeah, I don't blame you. I mean, nothing like a nice piece of cake. You can't go wrong with that. Last couple of things. Favorite TV show? I don't want, Um, No, nah, I don't have one. Don't watch it. Okay. Favorite UFC fighter growing up? Growing up, Andy Pass. Andy Pass. Okay. Okay. And MMA GOAT? Uh, Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva, yep, I like that one. And last one, favorite animal? Lion. Lion, yeah, good one. That's a good one too. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Thanks again for your time, man. I really do appreciate it. If you want to thank any sponsors, shout out any social media, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. And I always say this at interviews because I am the worst at remembering sponsors because I always miss one and then I, I'll feel bad that I missed that one. Yeah. So, when you put this out, I will tag all my sponsors and say thank you. And massive shout out to my team back home, Team Crossface. Um, everyone that helped me prepare for this fight. And yeah, you know who you are. And tune in because I'm going to put on performance of my life on the 27th of uh, September. I'll definitely be tuned in, man. I can't wait. Good luck for the fight. Thanks again for your thank time. Thank you very much. Too, man. Thank you for your day, time, man. man. Catch you later. See Catch you later. Bye-bye.